are uh, the head of uh, RLM Public Relations, RLM Public Relations the uh, creator of HowToFame.com. At the How to Fame website and the How to Fame uh, system, which is, which is not movement. like Nutrisystem, <laughs> um, but only it's, it's thinner. And the author of Punk Marketing and, and various other best Marketing songs. and Full, full Frontal PR and uh, 2011 Transpotting and um, The Bible. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I rarely take credit for that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what we call it. <laughs> and also, you're a contributor to Huffington Post. I'm a contributor to Huffington Post, and uh, and uh, I'm, I am a a, um, a bon vivant. Well, that's what I say. Yeah. So um, you are also a vi you are a power user of social media. I love social media, and I'll tell you why. It's very simple. Um, you know. Uh, we, you know, what you and I are doing today, this in real life thing, is very unusual. I mean, we're actually seeing each other. We haven't seen each other in a while, so it's really it's important. I think people need to get out. But what happens is there's this sense that, you know, that can be very limiting if you're working all the time. If you're constantly in your room or in your office or wherever it is, you know, in your car, uh, you don't get a chance to sort of communicate what's really going on inside of you. The things that you've learned, the things that people have told you, the things that you, the things that you re that really get you going. They just get you excited. And what social media does, is it lets you be that magnet that people will go to. In other words, you, you open up this whole new world of, of yourself, a whole side of yourself that other people don't know about. Because how many people are going to get to spend that much time with you? But if you if you do it in a way where you're not just going, oh, I had tuna fish for lunch today, you know, where, where it's actually information, where you're sharing the things that excite you, other people who get excited by the same thing will be like, well, I want to know that guy too. And so I try to do that on, the, on a large level because I tend to be one of these people that eats, sleeps, and dreams media. You know, everything is what's out there. What other pieces of information? And I do the same with other people. I, my, I have my own magnets. <laughs> well, that's part of the motivation. That makes sense. But at the same time, um, I mean, there's got to be, I would assume, a business motivation. I there's mean, a does, business How does this translate to you from a business standpoint? The business motivation is I, I work in public relations, and I do, you know, I'm also a marketing consultant where I go in and help people with their personal brands in the sense that, you know, I'm trying to get people to stop, you know, pretending that who they are with um, the way people perceive them is correct. In other words, people say, well, they, I know they see me this way, and, and that's what their friends tell them, but it's not true. So I, I get a lot, I go to a lot of, I get a lot of corporations calling me and saying, you know, my CEO or my CMO or somebody, they need to be, you know, set a straight, set a straight, set a straight, set a straight. <laughs> set a straight. I didn't to, read that in the Bible. Yeah, I said, yeah, so, well, <laughs> it's not allowed in the Bible. <laughs> So, um, no, so, so what, what happens to me is that people will hear about what I'm doing, I and mean, they'll have heard my name, or they'll have heard you know the crazy things that I do on Twitter or on Facebook or on any other number of sites that I that I'm spending time on, um, and they'll want to be they want to get it. And once they get it, once they understand it, they think, oh, that's somebody I really want to work with, and they can learn more about my company and the things that I do. And so for me, it's been the power user thing has been more about me trying to you know. It's like that old saying, if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. But since a lot of people do like it, what they do is they tend to say, you should follow this guy or you should be aware of what he's doing because the information can help you. So for the average broadcaster, they dive into these things, they put a toe in the waters of these things, and generally the response is, well, where are we going? We don't have the people for this. We don't have the time for this. And also, well, it's usually we don't have the time for it. Yeah, we don't have the time. And broadcasting is also we don't have the people. Yeah. Um, it's certainly we don't have the time. Um, and uh, plus, uh, show us a way to monetize it on day one, and we'll be glad to invest in. Well, that's the real problem. It's like, you know, it's just, it's just like anything in media. People have no patience, and if they if they think something's going to turn a profit overnight, they're crazy. I mean, it, that doesn't happen with even the things that are supposed to happen with, because the modern consumer, and that's a I don't mean consumer as in spending money, but somebody who actually goes out and consumes information or um, consumes ideas. That, that person has been hyped to death. So if they think that all you're trying to do is get them into the Home Depot, um, you know, community mm -hmm. so you can, you know, you can buy hose, and I mean H-O-E-S, um, you know, <laughs> that if that's what you think is going to happen, it's not going to happen because people are like, I don't want to go to the Home Depot community. I'm happy with my own community. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm on a... I'm not enough of them to be with them. So when, when, when radio, when broadcasters, when anybody, in, 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 in particular radio, when they somehow feel like, oh, it's got to show me a return immediately, they, they lose the whole point. The whole point is to get people to believe in the authenticity of what you're doing, that it actually matters, that people actually want to, that you care, meaning you're the provider of information, that others will go, hey, you know that radio 
conglomerate, they actually are, they have people on there that are, that are pretty cool, you should go there. But that's not going to happen overnight. And the fact is, it's just like any other burgeoning media source. You have to start from a place of power. You have to start from where you go. I'm here, I'm going to make this work. It's not just me, um, you know, I, my boss said about two weeks or this is going to work. I mean, if, you st if, if people did that with radio when it started, there wouldn't be radio today. I mean, you know, it's just the same with anything else. You got to give it. You got to give it a second. You got to give it some time to, to kind of, you know, get out there and have people see it. And you know, the those that have stuck around, those that have made something out of, and not constantly changed the way they do it. Those companies that have, that have been smart about, you know, yes, they promote their social media brands, but they also say, look. It's not set in stone. We're going to make mistakes. You know, other people are going to run with the brand. We're not controlling it. You know, we're, we're, going to, we're going to try things. Those are the ones that have succeeded because most people on social networks want to be involved in something that matters to them and it isn't being shoved down their throat. And mm -hmm. if a company says, well, you'll do it my way and, you know, and you'll have two minutes to comment or you're off the island, you know, whatever, it, then, then, it's all, then it's finished. And, and for years, people have tried doing stuff like that, even before Twitter and Facebook. People tried to do, like, you know, newsletters and stuff like that. And it never, it never felt real to, people, to folks because it always felt like, you know, you were always being told to do things. And interactivity, the great use of interactivity, the whole, this whole, like, connected interweb is that, you know, you can actually talk back and you can tell people what's wrong and you can say, you should do this and you should do that and people... And, the people who have the money can say, you know, maybe they're right, maybe we should do this. As opposed to, oh, oh I'm not, how dare the users tell me, you know, <laughs> that they think I am, you know, slate? You know? <laughs> so, 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 so what you seem to be implying is that it's not just one of those tactics that's designed to, it's not a widget you put on a shelf with the expectation that someone will buy it. It's a, 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 a technique whereby you engage people more in what you're doing. You get them more interested in the mother brand because of all these things you do. You show another side of yourself, essentially. Well, you show, and that side you becomes show, more compelling. You show another side of yourself, but you also show yourself. I and mean, one of the problems with, with promotion is that it, it, if it reads like hype, it smells like hype, it walks like hype, then most people are just going to not they're gonna tell their friends about it. And if people aren't talking about it, Forget it. You might as well. Mm -hmm. say, I mean, you know, they could be making fun of it as long as they're talking about it. You know? So the average radio station, probably the average broadcaster, believes this about social media: we should have a Twitter account, and we right. should have a Facebook. Somebody should be tweeting page. for us, right? right Somebody right. should be tweeting for us. Uh, it, you know, what is the most important thing they need to understand to get from there to where they need to go? They need to stop thinking about it as hiring a person or putting or, or assigning it to somebody as a kind of like a check off a box. They need it to be more, they, they need, for, for change it needs to be about a committee, a real committee where people get together and they say, not a committee to make decisions that are going to be hard and fast, but a committee to say, okay, how do, what do we want to say? What do we want to get across? What's our brand? It's not, you know, at whatever the company name is. No, it's, it's what is our, what are, we, what are we really trying to say? Let's get that What's Twitter the goal? What's, What's the strategy? And let's take that strategy and then let's have some fun with it, and then let's make and then let's go out there and find followers on our own to bring to us, and people will come, and not waste time. Don't put stuff up there that we don't want to read ourselves. Um, don't make it promotional. Make make it opinionated. Um, have a really good time with it. If you're going to have a fan page or a like page on Facebook, it has to, it has to offer something to somebody, mm -hmm. not just a discount, but a way in. Like maybe you want to offer somebody the naming rights to something or, or a new product or a new feature or whatever. Just make people feel like they're there. You know, give them something crazy. And, you know, we always say the craziest, the craziest idea is the one you want to go with. That's the one you want to go with. After that, it's, it's, it's all up the hill from there. It's all like, you know, okay, let's run towards that crazy idea. And, um... And, that, and noises in the background are helped too. You know? <laughs> Sound effects are good. <laughs> Richard Larimer, thank you very much.